Welcome back for another one guys. Today is a bit of a different style of video. I've been compiling a bunch of clips from all the times I've been out fishing this spring and uh, putting them into this video. I think this one's just got two trips in it, but the crappie are starting to move, the crappie are biting, and we caught a few decent ones in this video. So if you guys like these fishing videos, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please make sure to do that and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another video when it comes out. But that's what we've got going on here today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, good evening, guys. It is a beautiful, April evening and we're heading out to do some fishing. Hopefully I can catch a few crappie tonight looking for a couple of keepers to uh, eventually fry up. Not tonight, it's a it's a weeknight. Gotta go to work tomorrow morning. But it is uh, 6.30 right now so we got a, a couple of hours out on the water to see if we can figure these fish out and maybe catch a few. So got the boat in tow. We're headed to the lake right now. I'm excited. I haven't really been out on the water much this spring. So hopefully if everything goes right uh, we can find them and we can catch them so stay tuned all right all right here we are out on the water here we got the uh, 11 footer today using the hummingbird helix 7 that i just put on this boat i'm really kind of starting to figure it out now so i've got traditional sonar on the left and down scan on the right we're targeting crappie today so i'm seeing fish down here so we're going to just go ahead and drop a couple of these jigs down and We'll just kind of drift this little bit here and see what we can do. There's a little bit of structure down there, so we'll just have to see. Maybe I need to whip around, get the bow point forward. Oh, I got a fish on. There we go, that's a decent crappie. Oh, there we go. I need to get under control. Oh. Nice. First one of the day. Got this fancy little slab checker from Rogers. So we got 11 inches. Cool. All right, they have to be 10. This guy is, in fact, over 10. Now we got some crispies coming. It is uh, kind of early, but we're gonna be heading out to the lake today to do some crappie fishing. So we're gonna hook the boat up. Adam's coming along with me today, and we're gonna try and find these. These crappie, they're kind of right in the point where they're about to go spawn. They haven't spawned yet. And so I think it's about to get really good with the uh, fishing side of things here pretty soon. But before we get too far into this, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Canadips. So if you're somebody who likes tobacco alternatives or you chew or you're looking to quit chewing or you just want to have some sort of alternative to smokeless tobacco, you ought to check out Canadips. They are a CBD pouch with no nicotine, no THC, so you're not going to test positive for using marijuana. But um, CBD's got a bunch of health benefits, and they got a bunch of great flavors. That is, it, it's very similar to what the real stuff tastes like. So um, got a few new ones here today: the Maui Wowie and the Pina Colada. I really, I'm, I've been digging the Pina Colada. But they also got the mint, wintergreen, citrus tropical mango and american spice so they've got all kinds of flavors over on their website and like i said they are a pouch actually did i say they were a pouch but yeah they're a little tobacco free nicotine free pouch so whether you're using nicotine pouches or you use the real hard stuff uh, this stuff is a great alternative and i've been loving it so check it out there's a link down in the description use the coupon code outdoor limits to save some money on your order There we go. Oh, slam. Don't, don't come on. We have one for the cooler, Adam. <laughs> That's a good one. He's going to make the cut. Eleven and a half, baby.
I was just chilling with my bait, just floating at like 10 foot. Maybe there's more. Or it was just a cruiser, I don't know. You got one? Hey, hey, hey. Get him in here, get him in here. Atta boy. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. I'm gonna check him, see how big he is. Got the old Roger slab checker. That one might hit 12. That's a good one. Twelve? Nice. Doesn't seem like it's as windy as it was. A little bit more gap between the gusts, maybe. I have one. Slam, baby. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Oh, oh my God. God dang. That's a slab, boy. Let me tell you. Let's get a length on it. I mean, he's going to be bigger than the checker. I guarantee it. They're down there. He doesn't even fit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see, maybe, maybe we can get a length on the, on the cooler. At least rough guesstimate. 13. We'll take that. They're down there. You want a heavier jig? 15 exactly. I measured from the tip of my rod down here and I pulled out about five feet. Well, I think we finally found the fish out here. It's uh, It's been a long morning. We've been on the water for probably about two and a half hours so far, just trying to figure out where to catch these fish and fight in the wind. But the wind seems to be doing okay here in this little spot we're at. We're in 21 feet of water. We're catching some fish. Got a 13 incher in the cooler. Check those out. Oh yeah, those are gonna be good to eat. You have a good time? So we're just gonna keep fishing here, vertically jigging, just kind of basically holding the jig down under the water right in front of the fish's face and waiting for a bite. Here's the, uh, the graph. See, we got, we got some fish down there. So we're gonna just hold the jigs right there and hopefully get a few. Nice. Dang, that felt like a good one too. <laughs> These rods make them feel massive. <laughs> Think that one will make the cut? I don't think it will. What do you think? Well, the old Kansas wind kicked us off the lake, but that's all right. We ended up catching three keepers. One of them is a freaking slab. Look at that bad boy. But we're gonna get these cleaned up. Are we doing a fish fry, Adam? Yes. He says he guesses. So we'll get these things ready to go and do a little fish fry. <laughs> 